I was never scared, even though it was a long way. This is Dominic team, and this is what I've learned. Not done yet. Dominic team, who continues his return, his recovery. I almost couldn't believe myself that I was almost on the top once. Oh, it's brilliant. It's a stunning victory for Dominic team. Every win is a big, big bonus. I'm just trying to improve every day. It feels super nice to be back. It was, was really tough five, six months, but I think also in a way a good experience. The most I missed about competing is the winning feeling, obviously. He's done it. What a victory for Dominic team. To win a match, to have this, this great feeling. Superb season he's having. The comeback in general was very tough. I ruptured my wrist uh, twice. He sprained his wrist, I think. That's a great shame. You wouldn't wish it on anyone, let alone a really good guy like Dominic. It was my first experience with a big injury like that, and it took way longer than I expected. From the moment I started to hit the tennis ball again, this was the toughest period, because uh, obviously before this wrist injury, I almost never had any issues with my body, so I could do whatever I wanted. I was not that confident with my wrist, uh, maybe slightly changed my technique, and that's why the hand started to, to hurt. Working that I'm not scared anymore at my forehand was very tough. For the first time, I felt scared to hit the shot. The team tried to make the bigger adjustments to make an impact on this match. Unfortunately, he just didn't execute. I felt scared about my wrist, and this feeling took very long to go away. There were two or three setbacks with, with the hand injury, with the COVID infection. It was, was really tough uh, five, six months, but I think also in a way a good experience. Every win is a big, big bonus. I chose the, the clay season to come back, uh, the Challenger tournament in Mabea. Everything went fine and then I got uh, COVID as well for, for the first time. This was just a small setback because I guess at one point everybody gets it. Since I'm healed from COVID, it went in a really good direction with finally the first ATP match in, in Belgrade. A hugely encouraging performance from Dominic team. I don't know if, uh, if when you get 100% fit, I'm going to struggle, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. On court, I want to play as many matches as possible, but every win is a big, big bonus. I'm just trying to improve every day, and the first short-term goal is to, to be in a decent shape in, in the French Open. I almost couldn't believe myself that I was almost on the top once at this tough sport. I was reflecting a lot, um, especially when I, when I saw those tournaments on TV. I was appreciating a lot what I have achieved. Dominic team wins the very first Masters 1000 title. I think I was not like many other players who were on the top from a very young age, like Sasha or Stefanos or now Arcaras. It took me a little bit longer. I came in the top 10 only with 22 and a half years or something, so I never believed that I could achieve that when I was 19, 20. To, to be in the top 10, to win Masters titles, to win a Grand Slam title, I was appreciating it a lot. Oh, it's brilliant. I almost couldn't believe myself that I was almost on the top once at this tough sport. Rafael Nadal is defeated. It's a stunning victory for Dominic team. I was never scared, even though it was a long way. Oh yes, that's a Dominic team special. Not done yet. 
you have to work way harder for, for the special moments to come because coming to the ATP tournament was so special and uh, was like you have so much success in winning one set or winning one match is like such a huge, huge success and once uh, you are on the top or once you were there the standards are so high. What a performance, the pride of Austria. I definitely have a, a different perspective on life and, and tennis now. I think the biggest difference uh, from now and, and 10 years ago is, is my experience. Doesn't look like it's going to happen 12 months on. I definitely have a, a different perspective on life and, and tennis now. That changed, I guess, in the last five years or something. Before that, it was only tennis. It was focusing on, on, on getting better, practicing, uh, eating and sleeping, and that was it. For me, I want to make life on, on our planet a little bit better with, with the way I have the influence, with the way I have a lot of fans, and I try to, to use that for for doing good things and um, I think it's important if you if you get older and older and more experienced to not only be a tennis player but also to, to try and do good stuff. Play for the ocean, win for the ocean. I'm super happy to, to see all the people. They all gave me a, a great welcome. I, I have the feeling that most of the players, they were really happy to see me. I'm happy for and really looking forward to the next years to come.